think Sherry Hankala is uh, one of the most brilliant uh, people I've ever met and one of the most effective activists on the planet. Uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I worship the ground she walks on. So. Uh, I think uh, uh, she's always just doing really great stuff, uh, uh, trying to bring attention to the plight of approximately 100 million Americans who are barely making ends meet, and, uh, and others who aren't making ends meet, of course, like so many of the people who are actually staying in Romneyville and, and so many people involved with, with the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign and the Kensington Welfare Rights Union, who, who are really in uh, very, very difficult uh, uh, straits. You know, um, so I think she's brilliant in, in terms of the situation here in Tampa. I mean, it's like, unfortunately, it's like it's so surreal, it's so Kafkaesque, it's almost like unbelievable. But it's still actually standard procedure. Berman, what are you gonna do with your bat? You gotta make sure that you're loving America more. Love America. Ow! 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 It's pretty much standard procedure to have a ridiculously disproportionate police presence. Uh, but what is so especially outrageous is, is that at least in Seattle and at A16, and April 16, 2000, in, in Washington D.C. and at the 2000 conventions and at other events uh, in 2004, the, conven the Republican convention, at, you know, various events. At least there's been, uh, you know tens of thousands and sometimes hundreds of thousands of people uh, so that so the outrageously disproportionate police presence doesn't seem quite as outrageously disproportionate but in this case it's just this is the most outrageously disproportionate I've ever seen I mean you know for people who are just watching your interviews who can't who, ha who are not here I mean it is hard for anybody who's not here to understand just what a ghost town downtown Tampa is and downtown St. Petersburg which they've done the same thing too. Standoff is pretty awesome man. I see that nobody's having any violence nobody's really throwing anything anything yet but as far as the cops they're doing a good job of keep, keeping control and not giving the hassle to the protesters and they let them do what they want to do. Uh, mainly a photo op at this point and uh, whatever do what you want. Just you know the whole movement thing is it's a, it's a big experience and a, something new to me and I just think I had to be downtown at this point in time to be here for this moment. It's police media, but please try and avoid jostling the police officers as you go by. There is no rationale for how much security there is. It's um, it's uh, you know what they are always what they were always talking about was the possibility of terrorist attacks and preventing that and all that. So to some extent, in that regard, some of their given, of course, that they're protecting a bunch of war criminals who are bent on bombing the entire Muslim world. Uh, you know, and the threat of terrorism is for quite obvious reasons a real threat, um, and it always will be as long as we keep on bombing everybody, um, no matter how much security they do. But what's so clear is, although they said that all this originally that all this security was really about terrorism, it becomes very clear over the past few weeks that the terrorism they're talking about is domestic terrorism uh, and specifically left-wing terrorism, which has not actually existed uh, in any significant form since about 1921. And so, uh, when Wall Street was bombed by people taking vengeance against the execution of Sacco and Danzetti. I just feel that it's, it's time for us as people and as the homeless and the whole coalition of Florida and the Tampa area to step up and realize that it is a big problem out here and it needs to be recognized along with a lot of other things that's going on within the city that needs to be recognized. This March today to me just stands for a whole bunch. Just me being down here and being to experience this movement is just breathtaking for me. Uh, in, in the face of even a very bleak uh, times where, where we really don't get that many people out to protest the war criminals that run this country, um, uh, people need to always remember everything can change very quickly and, and, and never never give up hope and keep on doing something to make the world a better place. And people often want to know, you know what, what should I do? And the answer is whatever you feel it might be worthwhile and might be effective because the fact is as Howard Zinn would always say when asked the question there's a thousand ways that you can that you can make a difference and change things and and there's no uh, if anybody thinks they they got the one way to do it they're they're clearly mistaken
my love for America knows no bounds.